Greg here. I'm going to tie you a trico spinner. Tricos are a pattern that, or a fly that uh, comes back to the water early in the morning on our rivers and probably everywhere else. Um, they normally here in Colorado will hatch in the evening and then come back to the water in the morning uh, or 24 hours later and drop their eggs and you just see swarms of them over the water and the fish get really selective but it's a really fun hatch. What I like to do is normally fish a fly that I can see a dry fly like maybe a smaller parachute atoms or a true kind of a trico dun even though the duns aren't on the water but something that I can pick up and then about 20 inches behind that I will have a little trico spinner on. Sometimes I don't care if it uh, sinks, uh, it's, it can be real effective fishing it as a sunken spinner. And at times on some of our rivers we will even fish spinners sunk on a nymph rig and it works really well. And I'll kind of talk about that a little bit later here. First thing I'm going to do, we're going to use a cool new hook from Tiamco. It's called the 112Y. And it's a black nickeled hook. It's just a really sexy looking piece of iron. Um, nice wide gap. The thread we're going to use, uh, you can use anything black. I'm going to use a Dansville 6 aught. I really like the way this thread lays down nice and flat. I'm going to tie in some micro fibets from our friend John Betts in white. The wing is going to be tied in and that's going to be some white Zelon. Again, um, a John Betts product. And then for the thorax, I'm just going to dub in a little bit of black fine dubbing. The first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to tie in my thread, maybe about one width behind the eye. And I'm going to leave a long tag. As I come backwards, I'm just going to tie this tag right on top of the hook. Okay. And we're going to get our five bets. I could put three in there, like the real deal, but uh, I'm just going to put two in. Trico spinners, their tails are really long. So that's about one length of the body. I'm going to go just a pinch longer. After I get that measurement, I'm going to set them in at about a 45 degree angle. Make one little soft wrap. And then my second wrap, I really tighten up on the thread. And those little five bats should roll right on top of the hook. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is come in here, split that tail with my thumbnail, and then bring that thread tag right up the middle, and then tie that in. I'm going to run my thread all the way up to where I tied in my thread at the very front. That ensures that I have a nice even body with no lumps or bumps, which we want. Full strand of uh, Zelon, depending on how thick you want this. I'm going to take about a third of this out. Just run my fingertips, my finger, my scissor tips right up the middle. You could use a bodkin if you'd like. 
I don't like setting down my scissors. I like to always have them in my hands, so that way I can uh, keep moving. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place that right on top of the hook. Make a couple of wraps. Make sure it's sitting there nice and tight. Then I'm going to turn these wings perpendicular to the hook shank. I'm going to do two wraps from back to front and again from back to front. And there's my little spinner wing. Dubbing wax on my thread, or actually on my fingers. Very rarely do I put it on my thread. Unless I'm doing a dubbing loop, I'll put it on the thread. But other than that, I always put my wax on my fingers. little noodle started here. As you can see probably there on camera that that's not much wider than the width of the uh, thread. And at this point I'm just going to build a little slight thorax. Make a few wraps at the front. Come underneath the wing. Make a few more wraps right at the back. And then I want to figure eight this on top. Making sure any little gap is not showing. And at this point, I'm just going to whip finish this. Stubbing in my thread there. These flies are really thin and sparse. This bug has not taken on any water or nutrient for 24 hours, so it's completely dehydrated. That's why they are so thin. Pick these straight up. I'm going to cut these at a little bit of an angle, about the length of the body, maybe a little bit longer. Again, they're very dehydrated and elongated in every way. And uh, that is a little trico spinner, spent wing, little split tail there. Great little fun hatch to fish to. Now, kind of getting back to what I was talking about, what a lot of guys will do when they're going to fish this as a, as, a, as a spent fly or nymph it really deep, what they'll do is they'll come in here with a little bit of, I'm just going to use head cement just so you can kind of see this, but a lot of guys will put actual Zappa Gap in there making that wing really stiff and keeping that profile throughout as they nymph it. And uh, if you've never nymphed a trico spinner in your nymph rig, give that a try this summer. Not only for uh, tricos, but PMDs, even uh, some betas. It's a great way to fish this.